So that's a very depressing picture. But it's not to say that people cannot quit. And in fact, they can. There are a couple of methods that have been shown to help people quit. Some are behavioral and some are pharmacologic. I just want to touch on the behavioral ones first because it turns out that there's a quite powerful method for quitting nicotine ingestion by way of cigarette smoking, which also carries over to vaping. This is beautiful work that's been done by my colleague, in fact, close collaborator, although I was not involved in the research that I'm about to describe at Stanford. And his name is Dr. David Spiegel. He is our associate chair of psychiatry. He's been a guest on the Huberman Lab podcast, and he is a world expert, if not the world expert, in the clinical applications of hypnosis. Now, when I say hypnosis, a lot of people think stage hypnosis, which is the hypnotist trying to get people to do certain things and say certain things, not necessarily against their will, because they actually have to agree, but the hypnotist is dictating what the person thinks, says, and does. Clinical hypnosis is vastly different from that. Clinical hypnosis is where the person, the patient actually directs their own brain changes toward a specific emotional or behavioral goal. 